my name is Pete, and we're here at Spark Fun for our fourth annual uh, ABC Autonomous Vehicle Competition. Uh, this is a competition that was originally based on a bet between some of the engineers, and we decided to open it up to anybody who wanted to come. And I can't believe how many people we have here today. Um, Every year has been progressively better, the uh, performances are better, uh, people get their algorithms better. Uh, the whole point of the task is to just go around our building, right? Either a ground vehicle or an airplane. Uh, the ground vehicles are doing fantastically well. We've had one, uh, it's got to be a record-breaking time. He was screeching around the corners, it was nuts. Uh, the airplanes this year, not doing quite so well, but still making a good show. Hit a few trees, haven't hit any pedestrians yet, so we're gotten it a good day. Up, up and away. Uh, I'm Chris Anderson. I'm the founder of DIY Drones, uh, 3D Robotics. Um, my day job is I'm the editor of Wired Magazine. Uh, this is my fourth uh, AVC. Uh, my first year just with a, a rover. The previous years were planes. Uh, but this year we're using the same autopilot. This is the APM autopilot. But uh, it's a universal autopilot. It'll do planes, copters, and rovers. And so we thought we'd uh, give it a go on, uh, on a rover. So. Uh, so far, so good. It's uh, made a couple corners. I'm feeling good about that. One more round to go. Hello, my name is Jordi Munoz, and I'm CEO and co-founder of 3D Robotics down in San Diego, California. And right here, we have an autonomous auto, I mean, ro rover. So basically, this is uh, the autopilot used to control the rover. Uh, it was originally intended to be used in aircraft, but we adapt the code because, you know, the sensors and, and the control system is, is more or less the same for, can be used for, for cars and, and boats and everything that can be controlled. It's a simple setup. It's a, it's a cheap platform. It has an infrared, uh, uh, you know, to measure distance and to avoid you know, obstacles. It has a regular APM that is a combination of accelerometer, magnetometer, and uh, gyroscopes. GPS, and this is the new version of the GPS, it uses the Jublox. And the receiver transmitter, you know, to switch back and forth to autopilot or, or manual mode. The most important thing, I guess, is the, the radio modem here. The radio modem is this is an open source uh, radio modem. Uh, basically, the firmware is also open source. You can download it, and we're making improvement every every time uh, we have to. And here is the, the other side of the radio modem that is connected through USB to the computer. So basically, it's sending telemetry, and it has it's, it has a better range compared to the XB900. So it has more or less like 20% more range compared to the XB. So it's a pretty very, very uh, pretty good replacement for the XV, and it's cheaper too. Part of the idea of DIY drones um, is an open robotics community that encourages everybody to try aerial robotics of, of, of various sorts. Um, uh, it's based on Arduino mostly, and it's designed to be really easy to use. And so one thing we really like about SparkFun is that they make, they make it easy to get started. They sell the equipment, tutorials, the website, and all the lessons, and the posting, etc. It's, it's a community, and it's uh, the ABC is a uh, where the rubber meets the road. It gives you something to do, um, something to shoot for. You get to learn from other people. It's a lot of fun. Um, the competition drives technology and innovation forward, and this is a great example of how it works in the open community. All right. All right, great start, Team Wandar. <laughs> Raise your hand if you were scared there for just a second. Yeah. All right, we're circling around. I think we're currently under manual control. Once it comes back around here, he's gonna turn that on to auto control. Auto control on. Just barely skimmed the pine trees over here. My name is Michael Simpson. I'm from uh, Ogden, Utah. I work at L3 Communications. I have my robot called Rex. Uh, I'm from Team, Spar uh, Team Terminator. Uh, this is the Arduino that I'm using. As you can see, I pretty much made sure that in case of an emergency, I can quickly figure out what's what. And this is the basic stamp that controls the two uh, motor drivers underneath. There are two of them. 
And uh, in parallel, let me flip this to the side. In parallel is the battery system. It's, oh, sorry. Battery system here. Two batteries in parallel, about uh, 550 amps each. Very dangerous. Uh, sonar. Basically, three sonar device, which when the unit is on, let me turn it back on. When the unit's on, it can detect uh, a presence within so many feet. That's why that's how I was using it to uh, navigate the course. And depending, I think I think I'm too close. But basically, the sonar picks up here. This Arduino over here uh, takes that signal, inputs it into the basic stamp, and the basic stamp drives the motors. If someone's too close, it'll back up or turn left or turn right. Well, and go forward, of course, at high speed. Couple great starts. Oh, saving the audience. Skynet. My experience with SparkFun, uh, it's awesome. I mean, I, I've never seen anything like this, and I can't wait to tell the guys back at L3 what I did to this weekend, and this is pretty cool. I mean, uh, I'm going to be back next year and the next couple of years, and I hope to bring a couple of friends who are also into uh, robotics at, at my company as well. They kind of do stuff on the side at the house. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is the best time I've ever had, man. I really appreciate it. SparkFun's great. All right, so out of this heat, the last round, two of these four teams actually did finish and did complete the full navigation of the building. So I'm hopeful that we'll have at least two, if not all four, complete this time. Hi, I'm Borna, I'm Ami from Team OX27 and uh, this is our vehicle for 2012 uh, SparkFun Autonomous Vehicle Competition. This is our main processor uh, running an Arduino Mega uh, 1280 that does all the navigation and sensor fusion together. Uh, we have a gyro on here underneath this board and uh, the main sensor is our GPS that is located over here. Uh, the GPS has a one sigma accuracy of about 30 centimeters which gives us really accurate positioning uh, to go navigate around the track. All is done through here. We have an LCD here that displays some information and some more uh, data translation info. We have a mini ITX computer over here that's running an Atom uh, dual core 1.6 gigahertz processor that does vision processing using that camera to avoid the barrels. Uh, we also have this bumper over here. So in case we hit a curb or a barrel, as you can see we have some red scuffs here, uh, we can continue our run. Five, four, three, two, one. Trevor Elliott, and uh, this is our Coroplast Flying Wing. Um, it uses the uh, RG Pilot APM2, 
Um, and we built the entire thing out of uh, corrugated plastic. Even the motor mounts is uh, just sort of folded corrugated plastic. We used a little balsa to reinforce it. Um, and yeah, we're using uh, stock APM2 um, stock software. It's it's all you know downloadable and installable via the Argyplite project. It's been a ton of fun. It's been great to see that all these people are are uh, tackling these these difficult kinds of problems. So it's it's neat to see that they can make a you know fun game out of it instead of. Uh, it's like a, like a uh, big, so difficult DARPA challenge or something. <laughs> you tell us how your last run went. Yeah, it, it went great. We actually made we we did a, a full autonomous flight. Uh, well, full. We we threw the plane for the takeoff. Um, we uh, made it all the way around and had sort of a skid landing that just barely crossed the uh, the finish line. So we got everything but um, an actual takeoff. I, th I think from in, in full auto. They're off! Headed to the production! Physics! We Look out everybody, can it turn? Production. At the last second! Physics! Important obstacles! Goal. Hitting the first bin! Push it around! Team <laughs> team. What's our the team bin call? is now autonomous! Team. UCSD! Production. Fisher makes the first right turn, congrats! Oh, we all team Evans seems to have... Uh, Hey, I'm Jesse, and this is the Runaway. It's our enter entry into the AVC. We got two GPS that we average together to get a fairly good lock, a uh, compass for our heading vector, sonar for obstacle avoidance, and on uh, control are there our two custom-made PCBs there with the uh, X-Meg on the bottom for driver control and uh, the motors, and on the top is 32-bit uh, AVR for sensor and algorithm control, all on a nice little RC frame. Hi, I'm Logan, I'm part of CU Robotics, and uh, I'm pro I was working on the uh, software control panel for our entry. It's a fully-fledged uh, C-sharp application that allows us to just track the GPSs, where we are, set our waypoints, and plan our path. And it all coordinated with Google Maps and give us uh, a fully functional path. My name is Antonio, and I brought the uh, Robota paper plane. Uh, looks really basic. It's a two-dimensional airfoil, and uh, on the bottom we have all the gadgets. We've got the autopilot. We have the servo actuators, communication radios. Uh, we have a sonar altimeter here. This plane can fly two meters above the ground, uh, around the track, so it uses that for altitude and we have a GPS back here. All right, here we go. Autonomous takes the first lead with the chicken following up closely behind it. Get a turn, Montanimous. Montanimous still running. Look at the headless chicken. Dia will hit the kill switch. If you'd like to get involved in autonomous vehicle competition, the ABC at Spark Fun, uh, this is an annual thing. Uh, we used to do it in April, now we do it in June, and it's turned out to be a beautiful day. Uh, start your stuff now because it takes a long time to get to get the math down right to figure out how gps works figure out how the magnetometers work it takes a lot of time to get your algorithm down so start now and maybe we'll see you next june